And hello, everyone. How are you doing? It's Dave Bondi uh, talking to Ryan about an issue that I talked about about a year ago, but it's still surprising parents. Ryan, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good. So you're a parent and you have a 11, well, at least 11, 11 year old. She just turned 12. Just turned 12. And something very interesting happened when she turned 12 that you had no idea was going to happen. And other parents are experiencing this now, too. What happened? So I got uh, alerted by the doctor's office that I was going to lose access to my daughter's medical records when she turned 12 years old. And um, I was kind of shocked and surprised. And they said that she would have to sign a form for me to even get access to her rights. Wow. Did and Were you like, what, what, what's going on? <laughs> so I kind of I didn't really think much of it at the time. I'm like, eh, maybe they're not going to really do it. And then when she turned 12 years old, I looked on my chart and I noticed she was not on there no more. And I'm like, wow, it actually happened. So I was shocked and I'm like, it's kind of, uh, I, I had to ask my daughter permission to have access to her medical history and, you know, my chart access to, you know, help her medical wise. And she has to give me legal permission to do that. And it's just mind blowing. Yeah, that it's just, and apparently I dug into it. You did a little as well. I'm going to bring this up on the screen. This is University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, but a lot of them say this, and it says on the screen, I'll read it. It says, if your child receives medical care at Michigan Medicine, I know yours doesn't, but it's similar. Um, when they turn 11, I think it's 12 or 11, you will no longer have access to their medical records. That because state of Michigan privacy laws say adolescents and teens have a right to confidential health care in certain areas. I mean, that to me is, I mean, I'm a good parent. I assume you're a good dad. There are bad parents out there, but I mean, this is... Apparently it's law, apparently, but it's mind blowing because I still think of it a twelve year old as as a kid. Right, and I, I I agree too. I don't think like I understand you know there is protections to keep kids safe, but I just don't think this is the right way you know to do it because now some children may not be able to provide access because they don't, might not even comprehend or understand that, and now the parent is stuck from even being able to help their child medically or you know, whatever the case may be now because of this roadblock. Yeah. Um, and you posted it online. I think that's how I saw it. What were some of the reaction you said of other people? They've dealt with this too, other parents? So, so I've had a few people say that they never experienced it. I'm assuming it just came into law maybe in the past few years. And then I've had other people that said, you know, like how, you know, you know, how can I make my kid understand how to even you know, comprehend that, I, you know, I have to get access to allow them, like they're not even understanding what they're signing for. And they were just shocked. Like a lot of people didn't even know that this was a law and like some of their people's children's aren't even at age. So now they're like, wow, I have to experience this also in a couple of years. And they just don't even know how to comprehend it because the child might not understand it. And what if the child maybe has an issue where they can't understand it? Like, how would you ever trump that to help them? Yeah. So according to this, then your 12 year old could go to the doctor, get some sort of care, come home. You'd never know. You're right. If she would have never signed the form, I would have never known she would have got, you know, help assistance. And then financially we're responsible for it yet we have no idea what even is going on. And if she was to have a medical issue or something, if she was never to sign that, I would not even be able to help her because I wouldn't have access to it. <laughs> um, part of the law apparently, or this is what U of M says, they say this is, this is to keep issues like sexual health, sexually transmitted infection testing, substance abuse, and mental health confidential. If adolescents see a specialist outside of these areas, parents will be able to see the full record. So basically substance abuse, mental health, uh, sexually transmitted infection testing. Those are all things I would think any parent would want to be involved in, in a discussion, in the treatment, it, right? I mean. Exactly. And that, and that would be one thing, like being my daughter is getting older too, you know, obviously she's, she's getting more mature. And, you know, if your, your kid was sexually active, you would want to know about these things to stop it or to inform them, you know, to, to make it, so they can make better decisions or to direct them in the right you know, path. And now you're just hitting a roadblock because now you might not even have access to this information. Yeah. Do you, and, and I've heard the point others argue that 
And the reason these are in law in 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 place because, for example, someone told me a, a scenario: a 13 year old becomes pregnant and fears they're going to be, you know, beaten or abused by their their mom or their dad or their guardian. And this is why this is in place. But we were talking earlier that there's other protections in place for that. I mean, right? I mean. Right, exactly. And you would think that, you know, they would maybe inform somebody like a, a school aide or, you know, somebody outside the household if there ever was something going on. So I think this honestly is not the right way to protect kids because I think it's actually going to do more harm than it's going to do good. Because let's say if your kid was to get sick or have some kind of you know, maybe a disease or they get a cancer. Now, if they didn't sign that, how can you even help them or assist them or even try to figure this out? Because now you're limited. And I know how kids can be kids. And when I was younger, I fought with my parents often. And I could I could say to my mom, I'm not signing it. I don't have to sign it. You know, just to be a, a troublemaker, or just if I had a, you know, a grudge or an argument or something, it's really kind of putting the kids in control in a way. And they're still forming. Their brain is still forming. It just seems like it could be dangerous. Um, you know how kids, can be, you know how kids can be. They're gonna be like, right. Ah, it. Yeah. yeah. And like my daughter, she's a straight A student at White Pine. And, you know, for her to not even comprehend what I'm asking her, I did explain it, but she still doesn't even understand it. She understands it. it's given me access, but she doesn't understand the whole process, which I would think most adults probably don't even know this process, you know, to comprehend it. So how do you expect a 12? I, I believe it's 11 in like a couple days before their birthday is when you lose access. Okay. So how do you expect somebody at that age to even comprehend or understand anything you're asking when some adults may not even understand it? Yeah. And the one thing in here, it says uh, to keep mental health confidential. It says uh, some kids mature earlier and they want to keep their mental health confidential. I mean, I, I guess I get that if like a child is being ab abused, but like that, there's things in the courts and people can do, but I'm, I'm just being honest here and I'm, I'm not on TV news anymore, but I'm still a journalist. But as a dad, if my child has a mental health concern, I want to know about it because I want my kid to get help. I mean, hey. Exactly. I'm, I'm the same way. Like if my kid did have an issue where they needed help, she would be the first person to ask me. And it's like, you know, now you, you might not be able to even help them. And it could be something simple that could be solved or resolved. But now you wouldn't even know. Yeah. And apparently this then you would not be allowed to talk to like the counselor or the doctor about, you know, who do you are? Are you getting all the information from the kid? Because kids they're still growing. They don't know. Sometimes they take stuff out of context. I, I remember as a kid, um, like the doc, my mom, the doctor, we'd all gather. And if we had an issue, we'd talk about it. And then like my mom would even bring up something that I didn't even realize, you know, oh, he got sick from this or that. And the whole family, I think, needs to be involved. This is just it's just weird. Yeah, it's it's I still can't comprehend it myself. And it, it just it was kind of mind blowing to me, honestly. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, the instances of why they're doing this, there might be what 1% or 0.8% of a need for this. But your point is don't make it just for everybody. Don't, don't go this far. Exactly. I, I think the same way because I think you're hurting more children than you're helping. Cause let's say 10% of the children may need mental health assistance and maybe they need medicine, maybe they need counseling, you know, whatever the case is. Now you don't even know unless they provide you access. And some kids, like you said, they they may not want you to know just because they don't want you to know what's going on. Not that they don't want you to help. They just might not comprehend it to understand it. And, and now they're just scared to explain the whole thing. Hey, I'm stressed out, whatever the may, case may be. And now you want to help them and you're real limited. Yeah, I am um, looking at this. Where is it right here? This sentence, and this is a doctor or someone with U of M, says, we don't want to violate confidentiality for our adolescent patients. The conversation with parents is, quote, your child is now at the age where they could be some confidential information in their record. And by law, you should not have access to it. And that is why I thought you were adult when you reached 18. 
that's what I thought too. And it's crazy that they, they can't make any legal decisions in you know, the state of Michigan until they reach that age. But yet you're making them make a legal decision, a pretty big decision um, about their, their, you know, their life, you know, their, you know, something that they need, need you know, help with. Yeah. Is this more of, and I don't know your take, and it'll be the last question. A lot of people think the the government, no matter what political persuasion you are, but parenting should be with the parents. I agree too. I, I believe the parents should um, be able to do what they want with their child and not have the government step in and overreach on what you can and can't do with your child because, um, you know, that's, that's your rights. And there are bad parents and for really bad parents, there's laws to take care of those bad. I've done so many stories on bad parents and there's laws in place to deal with those parents. Yeah. Um, and, and I even had like somebody comment, they had said uh, they had to go to the doctors with their child and the, the person that took them back says they had their child was 10 years old. They says, is it OK if your mom goes back with us now? What 10 year old would even understand what they're even asking them for? Wow. Wow. I mean, yeah, that's just anyway. So maybe this will at least start a discussion where not just, you know, all the hospitals and maybe they'll just think about it. And maybe I'm glad you're talking about it because other people and also you're informing parents so they won't be shocked when their kid turns 12. So you didn't know until she was uh, like until she turned 12, right? Yeah, I found out a little bit before she turned 12. They had informed me when I had <laughs> went to CMU. They says, hey, I'm going to give you this form. You're going to have to have your daughter sign it because you're going to lose access. And I was kind of like, not, you know, I didn't really take it all in really and yeah. think about it until I like lost access. And I was like, wow, I just, I just was really shocked. Hey, your daughter's been taken away. No, just yeah, right. No, that's, that's how I thought. I'm like, wow, you know, but I wanted her to understand what she was signing yeah. and, and, and understand it. But, you know, she still didn't really comprehend what I was asking. You know, she understands I'm going to make her the right direction and stuff, but you know, she still didn't comprehend the whole aspect of what it is. And it's like, now you're, you're really limited in the kid's health and mental, just everything, you know, by this. One example, I am, and I'll admit, I am I, I more so when I was younger, afraid of needles. I did not like needles. I did not like shots or whatever. If I knew about this when I was a kid, I would have not signed it so I could refuse any shots. Oh. I, was afraid, <laughs> I was afraid of getting any shots. but there were things I needed. And so right. actually I, I would have done it because I was definitely afraid of needles or anything or even getting my teeth or whatever. So this would not have been good if I, this probably wasn't around when in the eighties or, you know, when I was a kid, but I just thought of that. I, I would use this if I was a kid again, you know, against my mom. To, so I wouldn't have to get a shot. Right. No, that's understandable completely. And like you said, though, some children may just not want to give you access, not based off, any any history or anything to do with it it just could be as simple as i don't want my parents to know i just i don't you know i, I don't i'm gonna make a fight for it you know exactly exactly just yeah wow okay well i appreciate you talking and this will get other people asking and maybe other people they can ask their medical professionals and maybe this will make it up to lansing and maybe some lawmakers can th think about it because it's 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 concerning it, it definitely is. And I, I do hope they do rethink this or they think, you know, that it, it doesn't probably help more than it hurts. I do agree that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dave.